Hi everybody. So uh, a little bit more on our our journey to uh, Indiana and getting the show ready to go. I did uh, sat down with the ground plan from Parkside, which is a college uh, local to us, and that's where we're right now. That's where we're going to be doing our remount. Their stage is large enough to fit. Um, their wing space, or I should say, their stage is large enough to accommodate our set. The wing space, however, is very different from our home base wing space. Uh, their wing space is a little more even than ours, uh, but the shop entrance is up center and ours is stage right, which we usually use that to load set in and off during the show. Um, uh, in and out during the show, rather, and we clear a lot off that direction, and there is eight foot less wing space on their stage right than uh, our stage right, and that's going to get crunchy. There's like a single, like a three foot door, one upstage, one downstage on stage right, to get things in and out of, and we get a lot of set pieces that have to come in and out, so it's going to be crunchy. So, uh, my stage manager, who is... <laughs> texting me now um is sending me all of we're going back and forth uh, figuring out uh how we can accommodate now we'll be doing this in may we'll be putting the the set on their stage assuming all the details work out that hasn't that contract hasn't been signed yet but um the plan is to put that up for dance rehearsals in may um tech rehearsals after graduation in june and then load it all out load it on a truck uh, take it to Indiana, where we will have, regardless of which theater we go into, apparently miles of wing space. Uh, we are hoping to get uh, the smaller house, larger stage theater. There are two options available to us at the new venue. So we're not so worried about having a large audience. We're not worried about the 3,000 seat house. Uh, we want the, st the, the stage that we feel is going to fit us better. Either house is going to feel huge to us because even the smaller version, no, the smaller, I shouldn't say smaller version, even the smaller uh, seated house is twice the size of our seating. There's twice as many seats. Um, and stage wise, it's probably three times as large. Um, the, the theater that uh, we used to go to in Nebraska, the Lead Center, um, we, I would literally, to show the kids the size of the stage, I had their their ground plan, printed it out uh, to scale, took our ground plan to scale, and I would lay four copies of our ground plan onto their stage. It's like, this is the place that we're going into, like, sh shuffling cards. Anyway, um, so that is what uh, my stage manager and I are doing. We're figuring out how to make this all fit. Now, we have done similar with a different show. We took uh, Scottsboro Boys from our stage to a concert venue in in Lincoln. And uh, I think there were Coco is the name of the theater. Super nice people, really great. Um, once we got in there um, and they realized that, that we were, were there to work, they were incredibly accommodating. And we got, we got our our set and it had been we scaled it down considerably I don't know that we can do that necessarily with Groundhog Day but uh, we scaled down our set and uh, got that show on their something like 14 foot deep stage was a super tiny stage um, it was a band venue uh, and we did a full musical on it um, so we're doing this in May we are planning now we are starting to figure out who has to do the shifts, um, what what has to modify uh, so that we get the same flow with a completely different traffic pattern. And that's that's going to be the challenge. But it is doable. Uh, you just have to. She keeps, she's just, I'm sorry, my phone keeps beeping because she's like updating all of this stuff. Um, it is doable. You just really have to do the paperwork in advance. Uh, we'll be also looking at lighting. Uh, and so we get we get their plot so we'll be trying to replicate as close as possible we're not going to get anywhere close uh, but the idea being then we can just drop all the numbers in 
uh, we'll use the same areas. We'll recreate that as best as we can, and then we'll just drop their uh, circuit numbers into, just drop their addresses into uh, our programming and plug the plug the thing in and, and it'll go. That is that is how we have done it in the past. It just again, it's a tremendous amount of advanced work for that that one day. So um, that's where we are in our planning. Uh, we are looking at one other space as a possibility. The problem with that is the distance from our home base theater. We have a lot of students that don't drive, so it would be renting the space and busing them. Whereas if we stay in town, um, there's a city bus that goes to the college so they could get there um, without us having to provide busing to a different city. So, um, Follow along, uh, hit up the Facebook page, follow KUSD uh, Fine Arts. If you're interested in things that we do, you can find my webpage. I'll put the link at the bottom. Um, yeah, this is, uh, this is what we do and this is how we're prepping for the trip. Uh, I will be posting videos and things with the students in it on the KUSD Facebook page because I'm not going to put their stuff on my personal site, but um, I do want I do want other people in other schools to know that you can do this. This is huge, but it's it's doable. And um, um, if if we can do it, you can do it. Uh, so um, yeah, find us, follow along. Uh, Give us some love. Uh, we'd love to support other projects too. We'd love to know what everybody else is doing. Um, arts is not about competition. It is about cooperation. It is about supporting each other. And, and the best way to do that is communicate. So uh, tag along and uh, have a great night.